I think a lot of the fitness industry loves to talk about loss of muscle and how loss of muscle is this big issue as we age. And it is a big issue. I'm not downplaying that. But I think we don't often talk enough about the loss of power and power and force generation within muscle. But also the importance of this type of training for stimulating and stressing bone density as well, especially when we think about menopausal women or anyone who's gonna age at any point in time. So not only is, you know, impact, power, plyometric, jumping, skipping, hopping, anything that's like reactionary in nature really good for maintaining power and force output in our muscles, but also it's really great at stimulating our bones. So jumping and other high impact exercise creates this force that stimulates bone formation. So the research indicates that jump training interventions um, can actually potentially reverse age-related bone loss, um, which is significant because we typically expect some degree of bone loss with aging for men and women. All people at some point in time will experience this um, or it, it's a normal thing that we do see with aging alone. And so we find that some of these studies, like one of them specifically looked at jumping protocols, found that these exercises produce small but significant increases in bone mineral density. But even a 1% increase in spine bone mineral density has been associated with an 8% reduction in fracture risk in women and postmenopausal women with osteoporosis. And then we're probably not going to all max out and have elite bone densities overnight, but we can look at little improvements in these over time.